for no fame. NBA young boy in Takashi 69. Let's chop it up. Now, I already told y'all Takashi 69 is behind the whole Dummy Boy Nation and Clubhouse movement along with WAT 100. And you'll see that the past couple of weeks it's been a whole lot of slander on New York City and you know, the gangsters around the world as a whole, because they know a lot of the gangsters, or shall I say, the true gangsters are anti-snitching and anti-telling, all right? So I want you to pay attention to how they've been trying to set up, you know, they've been trying to set the platform up, or they've been trying to set the stage to prep you to embrace telling, snitching. You understand? And I told you before, a lot of these niggas are fucking agents. You dig? So recently, NBA Youngboy has came out and said that he wants to do a collaboration with Takashi 69 And he also made a statement saying that the industry and everybody could SMD. For those who don't know, he said they could suck my dick. You understand? And what he meant by that is he said out of his own mouth that he don't have nothing to do with that and he don't care about that. As far as Takashi 69 telling on the gangsters. And NBA Youngboy, we know, is home on house arrest right now, federal probation. And let's also speak about how when he was in Louisiana and he was waving them guns at the video shoot, a lot of brothers went to jail. A lot of people got locked up behind him. That's why I call him NBA Dumbboy. Because he's also an individual paid to lead your children astray. You dig? So recently he's been home and he's on house arrest in Utah. And he's another nigga that didn't do no time. But he's recently came out to say he want to do a collaboration with 6ix9ine because we know he's currently on federal probation and we know Takashi 6ix9ine, he snitched in federal court. And a lot of people are already saying that Clubhouse is a federal platform. You don't understand? Controlled and sponsored by WAC 100. And I also seen how NBA Youngboy just so happened to be on Clubhouse this week. So I'm going to show you how all this shit ties together, but a lot of y'all, y'all don't want to believe shit. You dig? But you can see it for yourself. The stage has been set to embrace snitching. That's why you've been hearing all this talk about civilians. But these the same niggas that was waving guns, talking about killing, shooting, selling drugs, you dig? Running with the gang and getting niggas locked up. Because maybe it's a whole nother program going on through hip hop, through rap music, where they're using rap music to lock a whole bunch of niggas up, and a lot of these rappers are agents. Whether they're agents of chaos, or agents of telling, or agents of confusion and distraction, we see all things going on, and we see a lot of innocent people suffering. That's why when you go on Clubhouse, you're always gonna see WAC 100, he always make a point to bash street individuals, but they always wanna have street conversations. And see, one thing Takashi 69 he knows that. He know Jim Jones don't like him. He also knows that Jim Jones was on a wiretap, played in court, played all around the world, how he told the gangsters to super violate him. Now, we know violating could mean many things. It, it could have just meant beating him up. You understand? It could have been, it could, it could have meant, you know, taking everything from him, stripping him down from all his luxury. And then some say violation also meant take them out but either way this is all alleged information but nba young boy has blatantly came out his mouth and said he wants to do a collaboration with takashi 69 so let's ask the question did the three letter gang the three letter boys did they tell him to say that and are they making him do a collaboration but these are questions we got to ask because at the end of the day it's right in your face but a lot of y'all y'all don't want to believe it that's why I call that shit Dumb House. You dig? But matter of fact, it's Dub House because it's a dub because real niggas ain't getting up on that platform. You dig? And another thing I'm going to tell you is that WAC 100 sat down in front of your face and told you about how Takashi 69 how they worked out a deal. And they told you they had a deal for $45 million. But the point of the matter is who told WAC 100 to stamp Takashi 69 
Because we know Takashi is hiding out on the West Coast because he can't come back to New York. And people say a lot of different things about Jim Jones, but they say Jim Jones is still outside. So we're going to pay attention to what happened and how all this shit play out. Because in my opinion, all them niggas are snakes. And I'm out.